Okay, this is the Alfresco Share login. Uh, let's look at a data list. So I'll, I will log in. I will go to a test site, and I see up here a new tool called Data Lists. Let's click that, and I have a few data lists I've already created to work with here. Here's one that's the Team To Do List. So we can see we have a couple of items already added to the To Do List. I could uh, sort this list by any of these columns. Um, I can create a new one. So let's go up here and create a new item. Uh, so this might be, uh, I don't know, schedule team outing. And maybe we want to uh, set a, a due date on that, give it a priority. Not sure what a priority is supposed to be, so I'll click this help and it says it must be a number. So let's give this a uh, relatively high number and say, you know, we'll schedule something fun for the team to do. And then I could select, make an assignee. Um, so find someone in the, um, in the directory to assign this to. And here's somebody, click OK. And then if I wanted to point to some folders or attachments, these could be in the repository. Um, or, you know, let, let's just point to the Sumco folder for some reason. Click OK. Submit that. And now we've added a new um, to-do list item. You can also edit the uh, existing items. So if I want to edit this item, I could click the pencil. And maybe I could change this to a lower priority and make the change. So that's roughly what a to-do list allows you to do, and the point is that these to-do lists are just one example of a data list. So you could have any sort of arbitrary data here. So for example, I took um, the example of having an issue, uh, which is sort of like a to-do, but maybe it has, uh, maybe issues have different types. So when we go create a new issue, um, you know, maybe uh, Safari, browser breaks our app or something like that. And I could say, is this an enhancement, a defect, or a task? This sounds like a defect. And maybe we need to get this done before the end of the week. And this is a new one. And maybe, you know, we could say this is a blocker or, you know, maybe someone else will come through here and mark this as resolved, whatever. I will leave this as new, could give it a priority. Some notes go here. And then ultimately someone will come in and give it a resolution. I left it, uh, I left an assignee in the, in the attachments here as well. So you can see you could come up with your own, um, your own data to track as a data list uh, within Alfresco Share. And then you get to uh, go into those uh, different data lists by navigating them over here on the left hand side or we can see the ones that um, I've created, the ones that have been recently modified, etc. So how do you create a, uh, a custom list? Well, right now, um, you cannot do it through the UI. It involves um, some configuration. And if you've done Alfresco content modeling before, it'll be real uh, easy for you. So if we jump over here to uh, Eclipse, we can see uh, a data model that I've created and this data model has some constraints for the status of an issue. So new, accepted, started, blocked, you saw those a second ago. The enhancement, defect, and task, this list is for the type of issues that I want to track. And then the actual uh, type that defines each item in my data list. In this case, each item in my data list is an issue and I want to have a title, a due date, a status, a type, and these the status and the type are constrained by those constraints that you saw earlier in the content model. Priority, some notes, an issue resolution. And then we have associations set up for assignee and attachments. If you go look at the out-of-the-box model, the, this looks uh, very close to the to-do list with the uh, addition of a few new fields like the resolution and uh, the type and the status. I could have inherited from uh, that to-do list type, but instead I uh, chose to have my own sort of sibling type and I inherited from uh, data list item. 
all data lists have to uh, ultimately inherit from data list item um, so that uh, at the very least so that the, they will show up when someone goes in to share to create a new data list. Then I've got a properties file. This properties file is going to give uh, nice human readable uh, labels for my fields. And then I use the forms development kit um, config custom, FDK config custom, to uh, use the form service in share to describe how the form should look when someone creates new issues and when someone updates existing issues. And you can learn more about the form service uh, on the Alfresco wiki. But, you know, it's very close to um, the web client config, if you've ever done any of that in Alfresco for your, for your custom uh, content models. And again, I used the to-do as an example here and just added my new fields. So with this in place, I deploy my content model to the Alfresco war. I, I chose to do that as an AMP. And then I deploy this FDK config custom file. Um, I chose to put it in a jar, obviously. It's just one file. There's really not a whole, not a big reason to put it in a jar. But this, set, this sets it up for later so that when you have maybe lots of config changes that you're doing to share, you know, you're managing those in the right way. So the jar file goes to the share uh, web application. So the effect of this when I um, uh, restart with my AMP to war and when I restart my uh, container that has share, now when someone comes in and creates a new list, they can pick the issue list uh, from the list. And so we could call this list the, uh, you know, maybe the back burner issue list. And when I click on the back burner issue list, now I'm able to create uh, new items of that type. So enhancement, ta defect, task, status, uh, resolution. So that gives you an idea of uh, how custom data lists work in Share. And it would be nice if you could define these data lists here in the UI. And uh, I think I saw something on the roadmap uh, for that to happen sometime in the future. But uh, still, the, this is a quick way to develop you know, something that can hold arbitrary data and you don't have to worry about um, coding up the UI um, piece of this, like the sortable uh, column headings and you know, making the requests back to Alfresco, the Alfresco tier to grab the data, all that's done for you. So it should be a big time saver for things like this.